Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn a topic called Sensor Cloud. Okay. So we already know what is a sensor and what is a cloud. Okay. So let's once again brush up what is a sensor. A sensor is a module or a device which uh, senses the physical quantity present in the atmosphere. For example, it can be an air quality, it can be temperature, it can be humidity, or it can be uh, vitals of a patient, or it can be anything, okay? So, these kind of physical quantities will be uh, taken by the sensor in the form of data, and it will be stored in a particular place for further processing, okay? So, here, sensor cloud in the sense. Till now, suppose we are using a sensor. This sensor will be connected to a microcontroller or processor. From there, it, the output will be given to some LCD or some sort of um, actuators, okay? So, but here, what we are trying to do is, we are going to take the data from the sensor, and not only that, from the sensor, whatever the data is gathered, okay? So, it can be single sensor or multiple sensors. Whatever the data is gathered, all that data will be continuously stored in the cloud okay where cloud is nothing but we are considering it as instances or a virtual pcs okay um, uh, memories or an operating system which will be given on rent okay so all these sensors data will be continuously stored in the cloud through which all the users where this particular whoever this uh, whoever uh, wants this sensor data to be utilized okay they will be accessing the cloud such that uh, continuously they can get the data of the particular sensors okay so to keep it technically it is a unique sensor data storage we are talking about sensor cloud so it is a unique sensor data storage visualization and remote management platform okay so which is somewhat like a powerful cloud computing technology in order to provide the excellent data scalability rapid visualization as well as user programmable ana analysis, okay? So, we can store a uh, uh, huge amount of data. We can also monitor and control that particular uh, sensor data, okay, according to several interfaces. Now, this is originally designed to support the long-term deployments, like uh, uh, wireless sensors data will be considered, all the data will be continuously stored in the cloud or the virtual area, okay, what we are considering it as cloud. As that particular cloud is storing the sensor data, we are considering it as sensor cloud, okay. So, these uh, supports like uh, an internet connectivity where they will be connected with the third parties like devices, sensors, sensor networks, and all the data can be monitored through this particular APIs, ap application peripheral interfaces, okay? It's a kind of website or an app, okay? So, what this particular cloud uh, has means, as we have already said, it will be having some sort of sensor data. So, what this sensor data means? So, this sensor cloud collects and process information from several sensor networks. So it's not about uh, a single sensor. We are talking about the uh, multiple sensor networks, which can be used as an IoT clusters or IoT nodes. And they all this uh, information will be uh, shared in the virtual form, that too in a big scale, okay? So they also collaborates with the uh, applications which are connected to the cloud, okay? where the user uses them, okay? So, the uh, this particular sensor cloud, okay, helps the users to gather, access, process, visualize, okay, analyze, store, as well as they can also share the data, okay, for the particular applications, okay? So, not a large number of sensor data and of several types of applications, okay, can be stored in this kind of uh, particular sensor cloud through which uh, IT and several uh, uh, application sources can be used that, okay? So if you take an example of a sensor cloud, let us take in a patient monitoring system or a health monitoring system. 
So they will be using several different types of sensors. It can be wired or wireless. Okay. So these sensors are, let us say, connected to the patient. Okay. So we need to keep on monitoring the patient uh, health as well. Suppose these sensors are connected to multiple patients at different areas or different places. All these patients data should be uh, stored in a cloud through which the hospital or the uh, doctor can access this particular data whenever required. Okay. And not only that, so patient will be ha having access that uh, particular vi vitals or the data and the hospital or the network, whoever it is connected. Okay. They will be having and not only that, the third one, healthcare professionals. Healthcare professional also can easily access that particular data whenever required. So we are coming up with three different uh, scenarios, patient centric healthcare. Okay. So that is one quality of service. Next one is network centric healthcare. That is one quality of service. And the another one is healthcare professional centric healthcare. Okay. So patient centric healthcare uh, refers to uh, monitoring as well as the reliability of this particular message uh, delivery. Okay. So it's kind of a monitoring of the patient's health. Next comes the network centric healthcare. So, uh, so suppose there are multiple patients, as I've already said, all these patients are situated in or located in different places. All these patient data is uh, connected, uh, gathered together into form a network. Okay. From there, the cloud will be storing that particular data according to the patient's result. From there, the people or the users or the hospital people can access that. Okay. Next comes the health to care professional centric healthcare. Okay. So this can be used by or referred by a okay, lot of healthcare professionals. Okay. In order to take a particular decisions according to the uh, data uh, given by the several sensors. Okay. So here we have a sensor modeling language. In short, we call it as SML. Sensor modeling language can also be used to represent any physical sensor data, like uh, it's a metadata, like uh, their type, okay, accuracy, and their physical location, and many more options will be there, okay? So it also uses XML encoding for the measurement and description process of the physical sensor. So what are these XML encoding and all these things we are going to see in the further classes, okay? So this is a basic diagram, okay? You can see over here, there are uh, sensors, okay? So these are the sensors devices, okay? Through which the data is gathered. All the sensor data will be given to a gateway. The gateway can be considered as a router uh, or uh, some sort of uh, uh, device connected with the internet from there. Uh, that all the data will be uh, given to the IoT uh, cloud platform. It's a virtual uh, uh, system where you can access the uh, data of the sensors, okay? So from here, through an application or apps or a website, you can collect all the uh, sensor devices data in real time, okay? So this is a basic concept of a sensor cloud.